Hi, first graders. Today we are going to be starting chapter two, lesson six. Here's what you're going to need. You are going to need a pencil, your go math book, and last but not least, your red and yellow counters. Once you have these math tools, then we can get started. Our I can statement for today's lesson says, I can model and compare groups to show subtraction. We are going to be using bar models in this lesson. Let's turn to page 73 in our math books. At the top it says, subtract to compare. Listen and draw. Use counters to show the problem. Draw the counters. Model the problem using the bar model. Listen to the following problem. Mindy has eight puzzle pieces. David has five puzzle pieces. How many more puzzle pieces does Mindy have than David? We know that Mindy has eight puzzle pieces. So let's use our red counters to represent Mindy's puzzle pieces in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, let's use our yellow counters to represent David's puzzle pieces. Remember from our math problem that David has five puzzle pieces. We are going to represent David's puzzle pieces with our yellow counters right underneath our row of red counters. One, two, three, four, five. Who has more puzzle pieces, Mindy or David? What do you think? Mindy has more puzzle pieces. So let's head back to our math page. On our math page, we see our bar model. Mindy has more puzzle pieces. So are we going to write the number eight in the longer box or the shorter box? If you think we're going to write the number eight in the longer box, you're right. Let's take our pencil and write eight for Mindy's eight puzzle pieces. Where do we write the number of David's puzzle pieces? If you think we're going to write the number of David's puzzle pieces in the shorter box, you're right. David has five puzzle pieces. Now, how can we compare the number of counters in each row? Let's go ahead and draw our eight red counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's draw our five yellow counters. Right underneath. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's draw lines to match each red counter to each yellow counter, one to one. One, two, three, four, five. How can we compare the number now? Well, we see that there are some red counters that do not match any yellow counters. Do you see them? How many red counters do not match any yellow counters? One, two, three. So how many more puzzle pieces does Mindy have than David? Three. 
That means we are going to write three at the bottom of our bar model to show the difference between our group of eight and our group of five. Three shows the difference. Let's turn to page 74. At the top, it says model and draw. James has four stones. Heather has seven stones. How many fewer stones does James have than Heather? First, what do you need to find? We need to find how many fewer stones James has than Heather. We know that Heather has seven stones and James has four stones. Where do we write seven in the bar model? We will write seven in the longer box because it is the greater number. Where do we write four in the bar model? We will write four in the shorter box because it is the smaller number. How do we find the difference? We can subtract. We are going to start with the number in the longer box and subtract the number in the smaller box. Seven is our greater number minus four, which is our smaller number, equals the difference. Seven minus four equals three. That means there are three fewer stones. That means James has three fewer stones. Let's take a look at the next part of our page. Share and show. Read the problem. Use the bar model to solve. Write the number sentence. Then write how many. Number one says, Abby has eight stamps. Ben has six stamps. How many more stamps does Abby have than Ben? Remember to write the greater number in the longer box. Remember to write the smaller number in the shorter box. Then you're going to find the difference by using a subtraction sentence. Remember to write your answer here as well. That will be number one. Number two is very similar. You're also going to use the bar model to write the greater number in the longer box, the shorter number, the, the smaller number in the shorter box, and you're going to find the difference. I want you to try numbers one and two, and then when you're finished, we will check back in. Go ahead and pause the video and try numbers one and two. Now let's take a look at number one. For number one, we know the greater number is eight. Abby has eight stamps. The smaller number is six. Ben has six stamps. That means six will go in the shorter box. The question asks, how many more stamps does Abby have than Ben? That means we have to find the difference. Eight is the number that is greater. Minus six. Six is the smaller number. Equals the difference. Eight minus six is two. That means the difference under our bar model is two. How many more stamps does Abby have than Ben? 
two more stamps. Now let's look at number two. Number two says, Daniel has three books. Vicky has six books. How many fewer books does Daniel have than Vicky? Remember, we're going to write the greater number in the longer box. The greater number is six. Vicky has six books. Then we're going to write a smaller number in the shorter box. Daniel has three books. The question asked, how many fewer books does Daniel have than Vicky? We need to write a subtraction sentence to find the difference. The greater number is six. Vicky has six books minus the smaller number, which is three. Daniel has three books. Six minus three equals the difference. Six minus three equals three. That means the difference here in our bar, bar model is three. How many fewer books does Daniel have than Vicky? He has three fewer books. Let's flip to page 75. Page 75 says, on your own. At the top, it says, use models. Read the problem. Use the bar model to solve. Write the number sentence. Then write how many. I want you to try three, four, and five on your own. I know you can do it. Great job today, first graders. Remember to take a picture of page 75 and upload it here onto Seesaw so that Ms. Rodriguez and I can see how you did. Until next time, first graders, bye.